It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Take another question downstairs, then we'll go up. Go ahead, sir. Okay, it's Paul Kaminsky for Motorsports Radio. For Carl, Bob, and Jack, what's the most important thing you take about the win from here? Is it the points? Is it the confidence or momentum? Well, I don't believe in momentum so much, um, but I'll tell you what, the, the, you know, the confidence um, you know, could lead to some momentum. I mean, watching, seeing how happy my guys were, and that, to me that's the most important part because uh, you know, 10 points at the end of the day, it is great. That's wonderful. But I think the championship uh, is is going to uh, probably be settled by more than that. And um, I feel like my guys having that little, you know, step in their walk is good. Yeah, the the confidence will uh, will manifest itself <clears throat> in better pit stops than you have if everybody is frustrated and dragging around. They'll come together, and uh, Bob will be he'll be able to get more energy out of them, or to be able to to channel the energy in very positive ways. Bobby, comments. I I agree. I don't I don't believe in in momentum myself. But uh, anytime you you have success at, at what you do, it uh, makes the next time you do that a little bit easier. I believe uh, uh, with a little bit more confidence. So, you know, with the earlier in the season we we won a few races, but our pit crew uh, and and I think everybody in here agrees our pit crew was not as strong as it could have been. But, go, up, uh, go upstairs for a question. Go ahead. Well, I have some other other issues that I could bring up. That can you hear me? Are we? I think the mics are dead. Did the mics quit? Yeah. Or can you hear me? All right, there we go. It's probably a sign. I shouldn't say what I was going to say, but no. I I mean I understand what Jack's saying, and I understand uh, you know he, that. I, I do feel, I'll put it this way, I feel like I'm better as a race car driver than I've ever been. I don't know if I wasn't ready to win a championship or something like that, but, but I, I can tell you that um, I feel like I've learned a lot, and it's uh, Jack has helped me a lot, Bob's helped me a lot, my teammates and all the struggles and the successes and all that. I feel like I'm better now, and I do understand things uh, better than I ever have. So. You know, I don't have. I don't necessarily agree 100 percent with Jack, but I I get the point. He's, you know, I agree with his point. I'm going to release uh, Bob Osborne unless someone else has a question for Bob. All right, quick question in the back. Uh, Bob, since the question of Penn State was brought up before, uh, you have you from Penn State. There was a, a, a fill-in engineer from Penn State on the on the box in the, with the one car, and Penske has a Penn State engineer that filled in as a crew chief. What's going on in Happy Valley? <laughs> There's actually a, a handful of Penn State grads floating around in our business. Um, you know, we like racing up there. That's all there is to it. Uh, a lot of guys are, are are getting involved in in the small racing programs we have up there and filtering down in and trying to get jobs in similar sports as this. And and uh, obviously some of them are getting jobs in this sport. It's it's uh, something we all enjoy. Um, some of us that are in this sport have worked together in the past back at school um, but uh, you know it's just uh, racing's a lot of fun and it's a extremely uh, difficult engineering problem most days so uh, you're you're gonna start seeing more and more engineers and uh, I hope more and more from Penn State we'll release Bob now thank you very much Bob Thanks, congratulations, congratulations <clears throat> other questions now downstairs we'll take one we've got one here on the front can we bring the mic please Scott Walsh from the uh, Scranton Times. Carl, once the race went, come out of the red and went back to green, and you were had been back a little bit, did you feel you had uh, you were confident enough that you could get to the front? And, and how were you able to do it? Did your car get better over those last uh, 50, 60 laps? Yeah, that, that was the most nerve-wracking time of the race for me because uh, Jimmy took off and he was extremely fast. And I knew that it was Jimmy, uh, Dale, and myself, and um, I didn't realize Tony was so good, but I knew all of us had stopped. And we were essentially racing for the win if it went green. So um, when Jimmy took off, I was uh, I was real nervous. I mean, I you know I'd seen that you know that film last week, uh, at the end of the race when I couldn't get him. So it was really really gratifying. Hey, how'd that work? Right. Real 
Rory, Rory's filling in for uh, Randy Fuller this week for me. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Rory. <laughs> Rory tries to stay under the radar um, really hard. He tries. Um, but yeah, when Jimmy, um, so when I got by Jimmy, I felt real, that was really, really, that was a good feeling because I knew we'd be racing him. Other questions downstairs for either uh, Carl or Jack? <laughs> Got one over here, if we could bring the mic, please. Travis Brown with USA Today. Carl, just a quick question. Uh, I know there were some problems with fatigue and, and heat at last uh, the June race here. Did you have any issues with that at all? Are race? you related to Colin Brown? Yeah, I'm his brother. Ah, that's I just figured it out. <laughs> How old are you? 18. 18. You're a writer for USA Today. Good job, man. <laughs> the world's going to be overrun by the Brown kids, I'm telling you. Um, what was the question? I'm sorry. Just about the heat and the fatigue. Did the did the break for the red flag help you at all during the race? Nah, today there was really, that wasn't an issue. I mean, it was it was nice and cool, and um, you know uh, that really wasn't an issue. I just I got a sandwich. Tom made me a couple sandwiches. They were real good, and um, and that just I was ready to go. Other questions downstairs? Anybody else? Got one right here. Carl, Ashley Tatum from the Times Tribune in Scranton. A little bit of a lighter note. We did get to talk to Keeper Sutherland a little bit oh, earlier yeah. on today, and he did mention that you were a big 24 fan and that you did get a chance to go on to the set. Uh, I wonder if you have any thoughts on him being Grand Marshal today. Were you excited? or? Yeah, it was very like cool having Keeper here. Um, I had not seen him since, uh, since I got the chance to be on the, the show, and we had a really good time doing that. He, he's a really cool guy. Um, he uh, he's a real real nice guy, and the coolest part was we got to the set and he shows up in this uh, old hot rod Chevelle convertible with you know uh, mag wheels and um, you know dual exhausts. And first thing he does, he's like, "Oh, come check out my car." And we're over there with the hood up, and you know he, he's uh, he's a cool guy. So that was neat to have him here today. And uh, my girlfriend sent me a text and said that he uh, he said he was cheering for me or something. So that was really neat of him. But uh, that's neat. Any further questions for Carl or Jack before we uh, let them go? Okay, guys, congratulations, and uh, awesome. keep it up. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks.